Any of you ever have a day where you just plan on waking up really early, getting loads done, you just have a big structured out day, but then you oversleep probably about an hour or two, it fucks everything up, so you're just absolutely winging it. Just pulled up to the gym there, I haven't trained in about three days, because uh, I was sick, plus I was walking. But um, I'm training to push now, I'm not going to bring the camera in, I have no earphones or anything, I just really want to focus on the workout and um, try to get a good workout in after this, after being out sick for a while. Plus the gym's probably packed now. But um, I'm going to go in and kill this and then I'll catch it in a bit. Just finished up that push session there. It went alright, probably because of the sickness and not being training for 3 or 4 days. Everything just didn't feel right, like I couldn't nail my form down on the bench, it was a bit weaker than usual. The incline bench, same thing. But um, I ended up taking a minute or two rest, I ended up just sitting down, getting a drink, putting on a weight belt, and then dropping the weight lighter than I usually use, and then just whacking out high reps. And I ended up getting a sick pump. The workout overall was, prob was probably one of the best push sessions I've had this cut. And I know it's not a long cut, so I haven't had much so far. But um, I'm going to head home now get a bit of fuel into me and then I have to head off to work for the rest of the day so I'm not sure if I'll have any more footage for of today I'm gonna give you a quick ab check I don't know if any of you noticed the camera quality on this change a little bit. I switched the camera from 60 frames per second to 25 frames per second, which is supposedly it's supposed to make the, uh, the footage run smoother. Anyway, I'm still on 2,200 calories. I didn't weigh myself this morning. Probably should have, but um, I couldn't find the weighing scales anywhere, and it's too early to be waking people up because I'm heading off to work now, and it's about quarter to eight. Probably be training later, it's probably gonna be a pull day. I haven't trained pull in probably about three or four days due to work and being out sick. But um I need to eat. Quick tip, if you know you're going to have a long day and you've had an early start to a day, you're best off saving most of your calories towards the end of the day. Plus the worst thing about a diet is going to bed hungry, it makes it 20 times harder, so save most of your calories towards the end of the day. Just back from work there, I still haven't eaten anything since that first meal you've seen, but, um, but I'm not going to eat, I'm going to go and get this mop on my head sorted out first. Finally home, I was probably in traffic for, I'm not even lying to you, the better half of an hour coming down the M50 but um, I'm gonna get in now probably have something small to eat and then head off and train and I highly doubt I'm gonna record this because it's about 7 p.m. and my gym will be an absolute nightmare to record now what is one of my vlogs without a workout in it lads <laughs> but, uh, we're, we're training in Ashbourne tomorrow in Platinum I'm gonna get a raw workout for that, but I am making an edited version and sticking it into a different video. I have a different video idea for that. But you will still see the workout in the morning anyway. I think it's a push session, so I'm gonna get in and grab a bit of food now. <sighs> I'm just back from that training session there. It was actually a sick session. I usually know it's most of the sessions that I put, that I get a whop or sweat on. I usually do the best sessions, the best muscle pumps, the best contractions, everything just feels sweet. But, um,. I threw up an Instagram post yesterday and I was giving people the option just to throw in a few questions with the main topic being dieting and just weight loss in general. Let me just pull up here. I threw up a picture, it was of me. Don't know if that's close or if it's showing you in focus, but yeah, there's only a few questions on this, so I'm just going to run through them. There was one from Eric. Eric or Die, I'm probably butchering that name. But this lad here. He asked, tips on sponsorship, the main thing you want to be going towards for a sponsorship is just not going towards it. I don't know whether that sounds stupid or not, but when you're just focusing on growing your social media, less worrying about what people are thinking of you or if people are looking at you and you're just nailing what you have to do and you know you're, you're seeing yourself growing, just keep at it. 
eventually you're just going to check your DMs, you'll have someone DMing you, you're probably going to get a few requests off people that are probably not worth your time, just smaller little companies, people that you probably don't believe in, oh let me send you a free t-shirt, but then you get it and it's just the average cotton t-shirt, but um, just focus on yourself, make sure you're growing and all that stuff just will come. Um, say, I don't know how to you know, but this lad here, he asked, Highly protein content filled items in veg, because I'm a vegetarian. The only piece of veg that I know that has protein is broccoli. Um, I'm sure there's hundreds, but um, just a quick answer for that one is broccoli. And it's not very, it's not very much protein, but it still is protein. Alex P. Fit asks, on a scale of one to Tommy B. On Ket, how silly are you gonna get in Croatia? <laughs> If I'm being serious here, I'm going to say about 8 or 9. I don't think anyone can beat Tommy B on Ket. But, um, yeah, about 8 or 9. Richie Rich 94 how much do I weigh? I honestly haven't weighed myself in about a week. I've just been going off calories that I know I lose weight on. And I'm seeing difference in the mirror. So, um, But I'd say I'm around 160, give or take a pound or two. I'm not sure. I'd say around 160. He asked, how tall am I? I'm 5'7". I'm only a little midget. Yeah, that's it. There's only a few questions. The rest were just comments on the picture. I said I'd get to them. But there you go. Can you go? finished up that chest test and there I only put the raw clips in this video because there is a video coming out in a few days I'm after putting together a full chest session but um this year you're probably only gonna have seen a few of the raw clips and the rest you'll see in a couple of days in an edited version of a chest session it's a more pro professionally produced video but um, I'm gonna call this video here episode 5 I think it is and um, there wasn't a lot in this there wasn't a lot of workout involved but there was I was nailing the diet and I was still nailing the program of this whole series but um, I'm gonna get in here grab my stuff head home and head on to work so um, thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one Once again,